everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a series review for the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. I read this trilogy back in September and I absolutely loved it. It's definitely one of my favorite series of all time that I've read. I gave all books, all the books in the series, 5 out of 5 stars. They were absolutely fantastic. If you guys do not know what this series is about, it follows our main characters, June and Day, and they are in this dystopian world. And in this society, there's two parts to the United States. So there's the Republic, and then there's the colonies. The colonies are on the east side, so like states like Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, so on and so forth. And then there's the western uh, states, which is the Republic, and those are pretty much like Washington, California, Oregon, that kind of area. So that's how the world is set up. And in this world, uh, June, our main character, she is a high-ranking military official. She, um, her parents died at a very young age. She was raised by her older brother, and she is a uh, child prodigy of the military. And she does really well in school, and she is just a fantastic character. Then we have Day, who is, or Daniels, he's also known as in the book, who is a uh, society's most wanted criminal. And they both are living two separate lives. On one night, June's brother Mateus is killed. Uh, he is murdered. Nobody knows who did it. And then all of a sudden, word comes out that everybody thinks it's Day who has killed her brother. And this is all in the first book, obviously. So June ultimately goes on a mission to find out who ultimately did it, if it was Day or if it was somebody else that nobody knows about. So, into the characters, I really loved both of our main characters, June and Day. We got to read from both of their perspectives throughout all three books, and I really, really enjoyed that. June is a very strong female character. Um, she's a lot like um, Cadmus from The Hunger Games or Trish from Divergent. She's a little bit of both of them mixed together. Um, and if you guys are fans of either of those series, I think you would really enjoy it. It's set in a world where it's very similar to Divergent, um, in a way... But it's also kind of similar to the Hunger Games in an aspect with a very strong female character. But back into talk about June, um, like I said, I can imagine being put in her situation where she, I mean, obviously she um, was trained as a military official, which is really cool, but yet losing her brother and being kind of an orphan from that point on must have been heartbreaking. At the same time, I would not want to be in Day's perspective, who is this character who is believed to be the most wanted criminal in the society but ultimately in the, in the end this the characters are not all as it seems um day is not the man who ultimately killed uh june's brother in the end and we find that out towards the end of the book uh, nobody knows who did it until uh about uh champion which is the third book came along and we really find out who did it there was a lot of romance in this book, and I think uh, the main romance between, obviously, June and Day was a big part of the storyline. Over time, there wasn't a whole lot of romance in Legend until, like, the, towards the end of the book. It's when we really saw June and Day fall for each other and see how the situation they were both put in really affected the relationship going forward. And then we go into Champ, uh, not Champion, excuse me, Prodigy, which is the second book in the series, and um, ultimately, their romance doesn't really play a huge part in the uh, storyline of Prodigy. And they ultimately kind of break it off towards the end of the book. And then it goes back into play when it comes to Champion, which is uh, the third book, like I said. And it kind of takes a drastic turn towards the end, which I'll get to in a few minutes. Um, and we can um, go back to Champion and talk about what happens at the end. There's also another romance that is very um, not prominent in the storyline but it really isn't mentioned till the third book and that is there is an lgbtq remote uh, romance kind of sort of in champion prominently um between mateus's bro um mateus who is june's brother like i said many times and one of uh the guards who i can't remember the main name of at the moment um, i'm sure it will, will come to me um but that was wasn't really explained until the third book when it fi we find out who really is the murderer who killed Mateus. And it kind of just shattered me to pieces. It was really sad to find out that this one character really did love Mateus. And they did have a slight romance that was formed before even all the events of Legend happened. So it was really shocking. It was not something I hadn't seen coming. And 
it was just really great to see a LGBT LGBTQ romance in a storyline that has such a prominent straight romance. Um, so, and I had not read about an LGBTQ LGBTQ romance beforehand, so that was really cool. So, getting into what happened in Champion, so. For Champion, this book made me cry my eyes out for about two hours straight. <laughs> the ending of this book literally shattered my heart to pieces. I am not even joking. So at the end of the book, and this is spoilers for anybody who has not read this series, if you haven't read it, please go read it. It's fantastic. Um, pretty much at the end of the book, Mate uh, not Mateus, Day is caught up in a battle for him and June's life, and he ultimately does get shot. And when, while he is recovering from his injuries, he ultimately loses his memory of everything that happens. He doesn't know who June is and some of the other characters that are involved in the situation. So that really broke my heart. And then there was a quote when uh, June, after June leaves the hospital where Day is staying, and really realizes what's going on in that situation. There's a quote at the end of the book that says, I will love you always, and it just literally broke me down. I was ugly crying. That's really hard for me to do. I really don't ugly cry when I'm reading books, but this one, oh my gosh, I was a mess. And then we get into the last epilogue uh, chapter of the book where it takes place about 10 years later. So we have June and Day, even though we, they don't know who each other is. Well, June knows who Day is, but Dan doesn't know who June is. And they reunite, and they rekindle their friendship, and it, the interaction between them at the end of the book will literally make you smile. It will kind of make you cry, and it's just a very, very bittersweet moment. And that ultimately was like a very satisfying conclusion to this entire trilogy, and I couldn't have asked for a better conclusion, to be honest. Even though it made me cry, I really did enjoy the conclusion. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to check them out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, as well as my website, which I'll also have linked down below if you guys would like to see any reviews I have yet to hear, post here on the channel. And I'll have more in-depth reviews on there as well of Legend, uh, Prodigy, and Champion. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, buddy. Bye!